Hey guys, what's up? So today, I wanted to... Is that a spider? That's a spider. God damn. Um, so today, I wanted to, um... Okay, I know I know that I've ranked a lot of Radiohead stuff, and you can see that all on my channel and stuff, but I think you guys really like it. You know why? Because, um, my one video ranking every Radiohead album got 400 views. Actually, it has more than that. It's like 430 or something. And I just wanted to do something other than just ranking songs, which are all subjective. I just realized these are all subjective, too, so I don't know what I'm really saying. But, uh, I'm gonna be ranking every single album cover that Radiohead has done. Uh, obviously including every single B-side, no, no, like, in Rainbows 2 or anything. Um, and no, like, I might be wrong, like, the live version. Um, it's just gonna be the main nine, like always, um... And yeah, I feel like we should just uh, get started. Starting at number nine. Uh, Radiohead's most ugly looking thing they've ever put out. Because everything else looks pretty good. But it's just, it's Pablo, honey. It's the bottom of my album ranking and the bottom of my album cover ranking. I do not like this album cover at all. It looks like crap. I don't know what the baby's doing there. Is that Pablo? <laughs> um, and, uh... You know, what What really upsets me is that there's a border inside the thing. Like, the album cover is the border. You don't have to have a border inside the border. That does not make any sense. Uh, the colors are weird. The font is gross. And uh, the baby is just giving me a bad look. And why is he, like, all gray? But, yeah, that's what I have to say about Pablo Honey's album cover. Do not like it. Number eight, Amnesiac. Now, this one's pretty good. I do like the little dude that's, like, um drawn on but like besides that there's just not much to say about it i mean i like the red it looks like it looks cool but what i don't like is how it's in a black area but it's like red like, i'd like my whole album to be like a picture instead of a picture of a picture inside of like a whole entire frame area i don't know it's hard to say but yeah next up on the list is t cold the king of limbs and uh, the king of limbs album cover is actually i like it you know why because the colors it looks like it's a bit runny but it gives me this like weird random nostalgic feeling even though like i don't remember this album in my childhood i've only recently seen it maybe if i have seen it only a little bit but like it's just giving me this random like feeling of like warmth but like in a similar way to hilted thief which i'll get to later um like it's just like a coldness, right? Like a coldness, but it it feels warm. Um, and the King of Limbs, some parts of the actual songs actually sound like um, the the little monsters on the cover are actually saying them or like actually making these kinds of noises. And I feel like that's a huge bonus. Number six, The Benz. Um, I used to like The Benz album cover way more. Uh, but now I don't really like it. It just looks like a dude kind of falling asleep, and it has this... At first, I really liked it because it had, first of all, great memories attached to it for some reason. I just... Because my dad used to listen to the Benz a lot, and, uh, I just recognized the album cover immediately. But, uh, now I don't really like it that much. It just looks like a dude who's sleeping. Um, but, uh, besides that, everything is nice. I like the colors, I guess. Um, and I like how it's basically, I, I like, I like the font. I like how it's words and not just words. It's words on like a red area. And that's what I like. It reminds me of a red carpet. Number five, OK Computer. Um, OK Computer's album cover is great. Um, I really like the color. I, I just, I love it. Um, it's a nice light blue, but it has the roads and it still has a picture. And on the side of it, it has like drawings, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I can't describe it really, but yeah, I like the OK Computer one. Uh, the text is uh, is good. The writing is good. You know, it's a good font. Um, but yeah, that's what I have to say about OK Computers. Next, a moon shaped pool. This one. A moon shaped pool album cover is beautiful. I mean, just look at it. It freaking, it's like, 
looks like paint spotters, but like in a good way. And the middle just is all white and nice and it's good. And can I just mention the back of this looks great. Like, just like it. Uh, yes, I have this on vinyl. It's a 2LP vinyl, whatever you call it. Um, two disc vinyl. Um, but yeah, that's what I have to say about Moonshit Pool. It's beautiful. I like the colors. I like the black and whites. It just looks very mature. Next one, Hail to the Thief. Uh, yeah, Hail to the Thieves album cover makes me feel things. It feels cold, and it looks cold, yet in a great way. It just invites me into the album, yet, like, keeping me distant. Like, bro, wear your mask. Like, like it's it's distant for me, but it's still great. And I just love the Hail to the Thieves album cover. Not deny that freaking, like, text, that writing all down there on the actual Hail to the Thieves album cover. Fun fact, I thought the Hail to the Thieves album cover was a hill and then those like black things were like trees i thought that's what it was but apparently it's like an aerial view and it's like like that is like oil or like pollution or whatever coming out into a sea which is the blue part i just thought it was like a view of like the side of a hill and that's why i always loved it but yeah that's hill to the sea but next up in rainbows uh in rainbows yes uh this is probably my personal favorite album. I'd have to re-listen to OK Computer and then Rainbows and I guess The Moonshade Pool all like consecutively to really realize. I don't know, it's a hard decision for me, but yeah. Uh, and Rainbows album cover is, it's literal art. Um, And this is where really where it steps up. From Hail to the Thief, I would say it's like an 8.5. Now in Rainbows is a 10, straight up. And uh, in Rainbows album cover is just, amazing it's freaking incredible and uh i don't know why the colors the rainbow part just it fits so well with the actual album cover because it's so like rainbowy and the sound it sounds like little little rainbow um yeah it's just freaking great i don't know what else to say uh the text is obviously amazing um I like how they uh, used underscore and slashes. Uh, that that was that's cool. Um, and yeah, the In Rainbows album cover is freaking amazing. It's beauty. Oh, uh, and number one. Oh, and I forgot to mention the photo on the back is like beautiful. It looks like paint strokes. My number one, if you know uh, Radiohead's discography, you would know number one is Kid A. Uh, Kid A is, in my opinion, by by a little bit too, the best. The best album cover that Radiohead have ever made. Um, it's artwork. Like, the In Rainbows one was artsy, but this one is straight up artwork. I love, like, how distant it feels. The distant, cold mountains of In Rainbows. And then that blackness in the top. And then that floor, too. It's just... God, it's beautiful. And I love the text of Kid A. It just... It feels isolated, like I'm alone in, my, in a room and I want to disappear completely. Um, and I'm just sitting there listening to the music and really soaking it up. And it just sounds perfectly to what the songs sound like. Very distant, like bloops and bleeps, uh, obviously in a good way. Um, and yeah, that's that's my ranking. So it goes number nine, uh, Pablo Honey. Eight, Amnesiac. Seven, The King of Limbs. Six, The Bends. Five, OK Computer. Uh, four, a moon shaped pool, three, hail to the thief, two, and rainbows, and number one, kid A. So I hope you enjoyed this little small video. Um, I just I thought that it was sick. Um, yeah, there's not just really just just really not that much to talk about. It's just man, Radiohead have some good album covers. There's only really been one bad album cover that they've made. So yeah, that's about it, guys. See ya.